Hey, what's up guys? I'm Dan H and I am sitting on the General Grievous passenger seat. And I'm not looking forward to this next project. Can you guys guess what I did? Yep, I broke my seat bolt, snapped it right off. All right guys, check this out. I took out the passenger seat and I put the rear seats down so I could fit one of these bad boys in here. We got another Harbor Freight canopy. I want to make like a paint booth or something. More storage, maybe a extra large canopy out of this plus the one I have. I'm not sure yet, but I got it. The planning will commence. But I figured it'd be a great idea to just slide it right into the ZJ. And to do that, well, I took out the passenger seat. So when I picked it up this morning, I kind of just <laughs> broke the seat bolt right out. And now I got to fix it. Oh, this thing is heavy, but yeah. There it is. There's the broken seat bolt right there. And uh, let's take a look from underneath. All right, here is the outer seat bolt. This would have been great to work on. <laughs> Very nice and exposed. But <laughs> the inner one is uh, hidden underneath this heat shield. We're going to have to take this off. It's actually already dangling. So we'll fix this when we put it back together. But uh, where are you? Right in there. Peekaboo, is that it? There's the seat bolt sticking right out. So my first fix, I think it's gonna be to weld uh, another nut on there and then we'll try to back it out. Hopefully that'll work. So take off the heat shield first. All right, let's start with this one in the front. It's 11 millimeter. There we go. Now, most of these I'm gonna have to take off by hand because the impact Put around the exhaust. <laughs> All right, I got one at least. Two, three, four. <laughs> That's all it took. The rest are broken. Well, all right, slid the heat shield kind of down and out of the way. It's kind of a pain sandwich against the drive shaft and this uh, unibody frame rail, but I got it out of the way. And here's the bolt. You can definitely tell it's suffering from a pretty nasty case of rust. It's completely surrounding the nut. It's on the bolt. They're probably fused together and it's starting to eat its way onto this little cross support piece. So I'm gonna clean this up and I'm gonna weld another nut to it and hopefully I could back it out. If that doesn't work, I'm gonna go from the top, try to ram this thing out with my air hammer and then I'll have to probably weld a new nut on or re-thread this nut, but let's try the welding trick first. All right, got myself a new wire wheel set. I've been dying to give it a try. Let's open it up, and I think I'm gonna grab a small one that will fit underneath. Here we go, wire wheel and safety glasses. These two are always a pair, like peanut butter and jelly. They went together like lamb and tuna fish. Maybe you like spaghetti and meatball? Be more comfortable with that analogy? All right, here we go. This is what I'm gonna go with. This is a good seat bolt. It's a M8125, and here's a 516th nut. There's something from Home Depot. And this thing's gonna be sticking through the body of the Jeep. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna thread on our nut till it doesn't move anymore, kind of like this, which is what we want. And then we're just gonna put some weld right in between the nut and the bolt, make them one. Now this is gonna do two things. It's gonna allow us to get a 13 millimeter socket on there, of course, and we'll turn out the bolt, but the heat from the weld is also gonna break up that rust bond, hopefully. So let's give this a shot. Phase one complete. Let's see if this works. There it is. The sucker was cherry red, so hopefully it broke the bonds of the rust, and hopefully the uh, nut is welded on there good enough. Let's see if we can get this sucker to move. Um, 
still a little tight, but I'm also doing it one-handed, so yeah. A little shot of WD and a whack. Couldn't hurt either. I want to loosen this so I can pull the seat bolt all the way through. I think it's moving. Yeah, we got it. I see daylight. There's the culprit. She's out. Obviously, it's cooled down now. Otherwise, I wouldn't be able to touch it. <laughs> Here's our original, and this is our makeshift bolt to uh, pull out. And the best part about this method is <laughs> we have ourselves another seat bolt. It's a mini one, but it might get you by till you get to the hardware store. I'm going to go check my parts pile. See if I can find another seat bolt. There we go. Looks like we got a match. Jackpot. Alright, let's get this Harbor Freight thing out of the way. Lift up our seats again. There we go. Let's get our seat back. we go. Plug her in. Alright, I hate when rusty seats stick to the carpet, so WD-40, yeah, this is happening. It ain't gonna hurt, and I like the way it smells, so <laughs> this is happening. And of course, anti-seize. So here we go. Slather a bolt and anti-seize. And thread it so it's not cross threaded there we go same with this side back these little guys There we go, back is in. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, <laughs> it's nice having a working seat. But I can't relax just yet. Still gotta put that heat shield in down there. All right, use some oversized washers. And then I reinstalled the heat shield. Look at that. Very nice. This whole thing is hanging up for the first time since I've owned the Grievous. But now I need another exhaust. This thing is getting rotten. Ugh. I hate rust. All right, guys. The General is whole again. Got my seat back in. All four bolts bolted down, secured. And this thing is looking nice, looking clean. Got my heat shield back on. We'll shield my passengers from the heat. <laughs> and that's it, guys. Uh, plenty more to come for the General Grievous. Still have to do the headliner. Still have to fix the, uh, what is this? The sunroof. Got my tape up there. Man, it's almost been two years. I can't believe it. I am slacking. But you guys know I got a lot of Jeeps to maintain. Um, fixing that WJ kind of took priority over the little things on the ZJ. But, yep, more ZJ stuff to come. I'm going to have to do another muffler on this bad boy and what else there's a bunch of stuff oh yeah lift got to do a lift on the zj uh gonna do some springs and shocks get this thing off the ground a little bit more give these general grabbers on the general some more clearance so uh, that's about it gonna have to go put this thing away now guess i'll put it in my tent a tent in a tent how interesting. But, yep, that's it, guys. If you liked this video, if it helped you out, remember to like and subscribe. This one was an easy one. I've had a lot of problems with XJ bolts in the past, so maybe we'll do uh, XJ bolt soon on Beach Jeep. I'm going to do studs instead of...
bolts going in, which is going to have studs coming up. But I'm rambling now. That's in the future. So that's it. Like and subscribe. I'll see you guys on the next project. Peace.